Hey everybody, welcome back to the You Should Know Podcast, Season 2, Episode 15. I'm feeling like Sam Puckett today. Give me a little round of applause, I need it. Give me a little, there we go. Wow, wow. Extendo on the intro uh, applause, I love it. Hey, everybody, welcome back. There's so many new people every week. I have sunglasses on. If you're an audio listener, I have sunglasses on right now because I'm feeling good about myself. It's summer. Happy 4th of July. That's when this episode's coming out, right, Cam? 4th of July? Yep. 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. Be safe. I don't know what to say. I don't know. Whatever you do, enjoy the fireworks, the hot dogs, some glizzy. To all my glizzy goblins out there, enjoy those. Put some mustard on there. Not relish because you belong in prison if you do that. Guys, if you haven't already, if you're watching this podcast and you look below you and you see that subscribe button, is impressed. My shirt is almost on my neck. The bag, it's so much static going on on this couch right now. Unbelievable. If you look below you and you see that subscribe button isn't pressed, you're wrong. If you look even below that and you see that comment section isn't fulfilled with your name, you're even more wrong. You don't know what to say. That's fine. Just say, hey, Peyton, I'm here. I'm an OG. I've been here since the beginning. Or I'm new here and I love this podcast so much. It's my favorite thing to watch. That's perfect too. Guys, we have a great episode today. I'm very excited, looking forward to it. Last week's uh, episode, very funny. I think that was my best, or my favorite episode, excuse me, my favorite episode ever. Um, I had so much fun doing it and y'all's response to it made me so happy. I I love all y'all's comments. Y'all are are so nice. I swear I have the best fans and supporters in the world. Y'all honestly do mean the world to me. I know a lot of like influencers and creators or whatever y'all call me or whatever I don't know y'all say like they say um I love my fans so much are the best fans in the world but like I genuinely like love y'all so much like I, like a, like a family when I meet y'all whenever y'all send me dms whenever y'all comment like I just feel like I know y'all and the love y'all send me I feel it trust me and it means the world to me also the merch I plugged the merch last episode and a lot of you got it we have one hoodie left on you should know studios.com one hoodie left who's going to be the last person to grab that hoodie whoever grabs that hoodie i'm going to leave a little some extra in your packaging you got the last one we got a couple more shirts we're sold out in a couple sizes we got a couple more so go over to you should know studios.com right now be the last person to grab a you should know there's there, those are never going to be made again ever ever this line of you should know merch is done after it sells out but then we got a way better way cooler so dope uh merch drop coming after that we got co-host cam coming on the podcast later we got some cool topics uh he said he has a couple surprises for me this episode I'm kind of nervous about that because normally we like to talk about what we're gonna do I like to have a good idea so I can plan the episode. But Cam says, hey, Peyton, I got some surprises for you. Well, shit. We're going to see how it goes. Guys, like I said, drop a comment. Drop the subscribe. Say hello. And uh, let's get into the rest of the episode. Love you. The You Should Know Podcast. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. What am I reading, you ask? Oh, I'm just reading a little thing called Manscaped. Oh, you want to know about Manscaped? Let me tell you. There's a certain confidence that comes with being properly groomed. There's an aura, a vibe. You can just tell by the way they carry themselves. We call that that BGE, that big groomed energy. And there's only one way to obtain that BGE, and that's through Manscaped. We'd like to introduce you to their best and biggest ultimate hygiene bundle yet, the Platinum Package 4.0. Manscaped is the leader in below-the-waist grooming, Now trust them with the rest. Join the 4 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped by going to manscaped.com for 20% off and free worldwide shipping with code PSH at checkout. Inside this platinum package, you'll find their Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, Weed Whacker Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer, Ultra Platinum Body Wash, Ultra Premium 2-in-1 Shampoo and Conditioner, Ultra Premium Deodorant, Crop Preserver Anti-Chafing Ball Deodorant, Crop Reviver Ball Spray Toner, Anti-Chafing Boxers, and the Shed Travel Bag to hold all your goods while traveling. You tell me anywhere else you can get such 
a premium performance package. Manscaped has everything. I use Manscaped. I would never tell y'all about something if I don't use it. I genuinely do use Manscaped. I know I've been like talking in a certain kind. I genuinely do use this stuff and it's amazing. Like it, without Manscaped, I'd be lost. I'd have some embarrassing moments. I know a lot of you out there have had some embarrassing moments and that's okay. I'm here to end that. Go to manscaped.com. Use promo code PSH at checkout for 20% off and free worldwide shipping. Let's take care of ourselves, fellas. Ladies, if you're watching this, take care of a guy you know. Oh, he'll appreciate and I'm sure you will too. Go to manscaped.com. Promo code PSH at checkout. 20% off and free worldwide shipping. Now back to the podcast. The You Should Know Podcast. All right, we got co-host Cam back in the back studio. Back again in the... In they're the not vans, white, but not white, they're, white forces, you know, G Fazos. Anyway, first I will back again. Happy Fourth of July, red, white, blue. You see it, stop playing. Anyway, I'm dressed like I'm going to a funeral in the summertime, all black shorts. That's how you always dress. I know, devastated loneliness. Anyway, um, <laughs> first topic, Let's okay, just jump right in. Actually, how have you been? How has your week been? How are you doing? How are you feeling? The people love you. We want to know work how you're was, doing. Work is good, work is always long. Um, Took a, yeah, no, nope. it's Work, all right. Works long. Yep. Okay, yeah, cool. Just, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> it's great so far. We're doing great, huh? That's why I show up. Here we go. Here goes the ticks. Yeah, anyway. All right. Uh, so many audio listeners are just like, uh. but okay. Speaking of this week, I've seen something this week. Um, the, the new Minion movie came out. Have you seen that? No. Like the new Minion? Okay. No. Have you seen this like trailer on, or movie? The movie came out and like yeah. on Twitter and like TikTok, it's like a it's like a big meme now. Like a bunch of like kids are like or like not kids, like adults are showing up to the minion movie in like full blown suits and then when they get to the theater they're like screaming. Like it's like it's like I mean minions have like became super big from their like you know, beginning. But did you is it real that Yeet like made a song for the minions yeah. like Sound, he, Who is his managerial team? I don't know. They're, they're, they're doing They're very great. good. They're better than he is, but... You don't like Yeet? I don't know. He's not a good performer, but his songs are good. I don't know. Um, Here's a bell. Yeah, oh, the song already was... Is it lit or turned? The song know. already was turned, but here's a bell. Dong. Dong. Every <laughs> dong. That's hard. I feel like we're not even on lie. camera right now. Yeah, but... All right. <laughs> but... Minion movie. Back to it. So you, you haven't seen any of that? I saw, like, the Big 12 conference tweet... That they took all the logos and redid them as minions. So I wonder if it's like the minions, like the the. I don't know if it's like who, what, like if it's Pixar or like Warner Brothers. I don't know who. Is, I don't know if it's like their marketing team, like telling these like companies to go and do that stuff, or they just become such a big meme that they just hop on the trend. Sorry, that was that was disrespectful. Yeah, that was unbelievable. A yawn is disrespectful. <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> sit up straight. <laughs> hey, I told you work was long. Sorry. Anyway. Uh yeah, but. I want to know if you if you've seen the Minion movie or if you're a part of this like meme culture of the Minion. Movie, I'm an old man. I'm I'm like 23. My knees are bad. I got bad hips. Well, he has Dude, bad my, hips. Okay, my knee locked the other day. I took a step and I couldn't do lateral movements for like 15 minutes. It just my body said no. What does that mean? Why does it? How does it just lock? You just woke no up and it just was done. No, no, I was awake. It was in the middle of the day. I just really <laughs> it took just, a step. It, and it was out. like it was like and just turned and I was like oh. That's I started shaking and everything, but a lot of people last episode liked our our little sports tangent. So I'm trying to implement like I'll throw you a bone. Just I'm keep. trying to implement like one sports thing in each episode, and our sports thing uh, this week is Draymond Green. And so I have a, I have a very like big opinion on this because unpopular opinions. I love Draymond Green. I, I feel like too. a lot of people dislike him. I know my mom is like he's so mean. I hated him. Hated him at first. You hated like him? him at first, but now I'm so, I'm a very big Draymond uh, advocate, like him on and off the court. Yeah, he's he and he's so good at like um, sports analysis and like being authentic. on camera. He's, he's so authentic, good. That's but that's what sells because he is him and he doesn't care. That's what I want to talk about though. I feel like Draymond Green is going down the wrong path with his his media career, and I say that because. His whole thing is like new media. New media. He wants we to can get give each other flowers now. We don't have to wait till everyone's retired. Exactly. He wants to get away from this sensationalized media. It's like we're just going to talk about crazy stuff and say like hot takes on somebody yeah. just because it's going to get his use. He wants to actually talk about the sport and like because he's a smart one of the highest basketball IQs. Like he's yeah, a smart dude. There. But recently, like this last week, he's been going crazy and like doing the same thing that he is hating. And he's it's giving him a lot of views and probably a show a lot it's of views. I think it's because he 
he basically just spun the block after they won the championship. That's, he went back and talked trash to all the people that were talking trash to him currently, saying, hey, remember when y'all were talking like three or four weeks ago and y'all are sitting watching me in the finals now? And we won. I, so. I totally understand that. If you get it, you it's uncalled for. No, no, no. I, I, I like that. Go ahead and you, you have your hit list. You, you kept quiet this whole time of people that are saying negative things about you, and now you're going to give it back. He's done that. Cool. Once you do that and that's your objective, you're done after that. He's yeah. starting to turn it into like the the pinnacle of like, or not the, the pinnacle. I don't know the words. Y'all know me. Y'all saw the last episode. I don't know how to spell yeah, anything. I know that. It's become the core. F-A-R-O-O. <laughs> it's, we're going to talk about that. Uh, it's become like the core of his show is just like, I'm just going to say wild things. He said wild things about Kendrick Perkins. Like, I know he has a problem with Kendrick Perkins and they going back and forth, but there's a certain line that, you know, you don't cross or you or if you feel a certain way you don't handle it in public like that because that's something deeper than media if you're saying that kind of stuff but anyway not even important but i worry that we're losing we're gonna lose something that has so much potential to be so great of like one of the smartest basketball heads talking about like basketball like bringing a perspective that majority of people in the world will never know because they have never played that high level of basketball and they don't have that kind of and, and it would be great to hear that but I'm afraid that he's gonna quiet that to get the clicks and views of saying obnoxious stuff and I know um Richard Jefferson's been saying that same thing too I like him too as a he's great like analyst like a social media presence he's funny yeah he's hilarious he's but good I don't know that's just kind of how I feel about that I don't know I mean he's I see what you're saying but I mean, he's nope. Okay. He, uh, he's gonna be fine. Like on the court, he's not going anywhere. Off the court, he's only getting started. So like, he might run into a you know brick wall, road bump, something like that. But he'll figure it out. Like you said, he's one of the smartest heads. So I don't see him really struggling. Yeah, I, I just hope he he stays on the on the on the path of just IQ and whatever. I get it. it's a it's a business, but. Let's uh let's sprinkle another one in real quick. It's okay. not on the board. Kevin Durant. Sick. All respect. Sick. All remaining respect I had just sick. See ya. It, it's just it's it's it is more it's just solidifying. Like Kevin Durant will forever and always be one of the most unguardable best pl- like I almost said playmakers. My god, that, that would have been a yeah. joke. <laughs> best scorers ever. Yeah. Like 6'11 legit He's a footer yeah. and can do anything on the basketball yep. court. Always respect that. But hit the way he goes. Oh my God. And then his tweets, those people that were locked with me in the gym, they know what I'm about. And if you don't know, then keep it pushing. It's like <laughs> you couldn't win anything when you're by yourself. You got to a finals. That's yeah. props. Good job. Couldn't win. So you go to the most winningest team ever. You win two there. You start hearing all the whispers. Well, you had to join up with Steph to win. You had to join up with a 73 win team to win. Yeah. So then you leave and go to Brooklyn, couldn't get it done there. Mm-hmm. So now you request a trade to the two num- the two one seeds. Yeah. It's like maybe go to a five seed <laughs> and excel them to a one. Don't go join the best team. I don't. It's ridiculous. And everyone gives okay again. Braun, Stan, Goat. Mm-hmm. Everyone gives Braun, LeBron and AD, Kawhi and Paul George, Kyrie and KD. All happened in the same summer, yeah. and people are acting like it, it w- didn't. Yeah, one of those has a ring. Yep. The other two never even made made to, made it to the finals, mm-hmm. let alone lost in the finals. Yep. So you can that's ha- out the window. You can never compare what KD is doing and LeBron's doing ever again. Ever the every, first comparison was never a comparison. Every time LeBron goes to a team, he gets he them wins. a championship. <laughs> he wins. He honors his contract. Honors the contract every time. Doesn't request a trade ever. Has only ever left in free agency. Yep. And only excels your entire entire franchise. Yeah. Anytime LeBron goes on TikTok, oh, they they have a high C- shot of going to the uh, to the finals. So I don't that's just another tidbit. I had to get that off. It's just crazy. Yeah, it's and I free feel- agency's been like two days now. It's been pretty fun. But yeah, that's just I've all literally all remaining respect is in terms of like that side of it. Basketball, I'm always gonna be able to watch Kevin Durant and yeah. respect his game, but it's like Bro, I don't even care anymore. Like, I was going to uh, say something about... Oh, I feel bad for Kyrie. Because Kyrie just... <laughs> yeah, I don't even... I don't... Dude, I don't even know who's more unpredictable at this point. 
and Kevin Durant or Kyrie. I don't know who's more like, wow, didn't see that coming. Like they're both just on right. their complete own time. Like which I re- I mean I respect. I get it, it but, but I'm just like, wow. You I mean do what you want, but yeah, but you can't have like a legacy. That's what I'm saying. You if, you, if you want to talk about all times and your legacies and stuff, yeah, your game, like we said, will always be there, but your legacy and what you are doing is just getting really tainted, mud in the water. So very tainted. Anyway, is that any other uh, basketball stuff you want to talk about? Oh, I actually have some basketball topics. All right, this is gonna be good. Oh God, because I'm about to uh, I'm about to bring this out. <laughs> Sits up. Stop playing around. As a former basketball player myself, as a former a basketball player you, yourself, yeah, oh, yeah. very grimy, nasty. Yeah. And that's what I like, Draymond. Four, Fourteen foot left hand post hooks from the middle of the. We're thing. gonna, hey, we're gonna drop a bit. Everybody in the comments wants to see my basketball highlights. We're gonna have a video where we react. We're gonna react to his. We're, I'm gonna combine my high school and some college basketball uh, highlights together. We're gonna react to them. It's gonna be a really good video. But <laughs> one thing I always struggled with as a basketball player is recovering from awkward moments. It's like one of the, as a basketball player, that's life for you. (laughs) That's not just on the court. Like that is, that's an everyday thing. Every aspect, every walk of your life is recovering from awkwardness. That's, but that's one of the most important things that isn't talked about that you need to learn as a basketball player is how to recover from embarrassing moments. If you're at the corner, you're shooting a corner three and it hits the side of the backboard and then you look at your hands or blow on your hands. Hey buddy. Hands had nothing to do with it. Yeah. You can't shoot. You need, that was my problem. You need to sprint back on defense. Just sprint and go protect the rim and just act like it never happened. And then when you go to the bench, you can get mad all you want. But as soon as you check back in, new slate. That people won't even – no, they will, they will remember it. But you can't remember it. You just got to move on. But, God, that's bad. And yeah. as a defender, if you get cross or you just, like, fall running down the court, do not look at your shoes. Yeah, do not look at the don't ground. Don't retie your shoe Definitely don't hold your ankle because then it's like he literally <laughs> dropped you off and broke your ankle. Bro, one time I shot a corner three and missed so bad, I lied and said, he tipped it. He tipped it. Everyone went, it went over the rim. How did he? I said, I don't know. He jumped and like, he jumped and hit the back. <laughs> and dude, I stuck with the lie. Oh, it was so embarrassing looking back at it. I, I went Younger to- days for sure, not collegiate career, but. You know, I was like a high school basketball player, like ninth grade. It was like early high school career, and I was playing on the varsity level, which, you know, I was just smaller than everybody. I was a, I'm skinny now, but I was a scrawny little boy. Yeah, little skeleton. In practice. A sack of bones just running around. In practice one time, I was going against the senior. Hey, hey. Hey, I'm open. <laughs> that was you. Whoa. 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 <laughs> All right, continue. Sorry, I had to give them illustrations so they could see what you probably looked like. In pra- that's not what I looked yeah, like. It's close enough. In practice, one day I was guarding the senior, and he was like our best ball handler. We we're doing like that full court drill where you like it's like the corner, the zigzag drill. Yeah, you're just working on your one on one. Oh, he made you touch earth. Oh my god, no! Uh, I my stomach was on the ground, uh, but I had I did not like to be embarrassed. That's my number one thing is I hate to be embarrassed, and I didn't know how to control it at the time. You and pushed him. No, I grabbed his ankle. <laughs> he broke his tooth. What? He broke his tooth. Oh, that would have been a fight. If oh, no, you, yeah, if yeah. someone <laughs> breaks you off and you're so upset that you couldn't guard, you grab his foot, he face plants, chips a tooth, tooth. dentist appointment is imminent at this point. Hope you had insurance. I don't know what to tell you. That's bad. That's yeah, no, very yeah. bad. I was a kid. I didn't know how to, like, I, I, I just wanted to be so good for all the older kids. And I grabbed his ankle. Bro, that's... Yeah, we need to do a whole segment one day of just telling all crazy basketball, like actual, not basketball coach stories that y'all love and are crazy, but actual ones. Yeah. Anyway, that's that's for another time. I've told my best. We can kind of talk about this. It's not going to be a TikTok or anything because I already put it on TikTok, but my first uh, college basketball game when I airballed that free throw and you were there. (laughs) I airballed this free throw, and every somebody in the crowd was like, "Oh, this guy fucking this sucks. guy sucks." It was get bad. him out. That was but, his fault. He shouldn't have put me in that game. I mean, yeah, probably not. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Didn't you get chewed out that was, game too? You yeah, guys, a rough game for you. It was in that arena. At, uh, I don't want to say the school's name. The green school is like the arena, and it was like the end when they're full court pressing, <laughs> and he put me in late, and you got like yeah, chewed out that whole game. Grit you don't life. remember that? No, no, no. It was in Texas. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Bro, they were they jumped in this full court press. Bro, I tried to like lock. So I was taking it out. I was a three. Or the four. Three. 
Doesn't matter. I'm taking the ball out, right? Hit the guard. He hits it back. I try to loft it over like my guard at half. Horrible decision. Don't do that unless you have a f f Randy Moss as your two. You're but a freak athlete. Throw it up. They pick it. Come back. I try to not foul. It's a close game. I just wall up. He lays me. He just finishes right over me, right? Take the ball out. We go again the next time. I want to say I, like, went to pass, and the dude jumps the lane. And I was like, <laughs> like, fell over and traveled, bro. He yanked me out so quick. Oh, my God. That was bad. Bro, we have so – we, we got to, like, sit down. Uh huh. Just to toot my own horn. Can we quickly tell my first collegiate bucket ever? Unbelievable oh, moment yeah. that is not on camera. Dude, that's sick that it wasn't on camera. My first bucket ever. Ever in college, I check in the game. Same scenario. They're in a full court press. We're playing this school from Colorado at like a jamboree. Yeah. Pass to the right. No, no. Yeah, pass to the right. They pass back. We're just like slowly breaking the press. You just break it with pace and you just keep walking up the court. Pass to the left. They pass it back. And somebody like, uh, I'm not going to say, well, somebody got open at mid court, like right at half court. Overhead pass to him. Launch it to him. I launch it to him. And I just dead sprint right up the middle of the court. As fast as I can. Beautiful. Hits me right back in full sprint at like maybe a step or two above the three-point line. I catch it full sprint. One dribble, one, two, take up, and just annihilated this kid. Poster the other team's four. Like complete contact. Yam that thing. Everyone goes crazy. There's there's a, so you know, we were at a JUCO first. It was a so JUCO other jamboree. coaches, like college coaches there. It was my first bucket ever scored, like ever. It was so damn athletic. <laughs> and then, and our coach, no props ever, no matter how good you did. And after the game, he said, you know, that wasn't too bad right there, Cam. <laughs> and I was like, oh, my God. No, bro, it was crazy, the reaction on the bench, because I was oh, riding yeah. that bench. And we, bro, and we have a, we had our five man didn't speak, and he was on the court at the time. He was like, hey, hey, like screaming, and he never spoke a word. It was dogs. It was such a great. It was such a great memory. Game ends. We look up. I see like three tripods. I'm like, okay, somebody. I go to our coach. Hey, were you recording that? Man, it's a jamboree. What do I got to record anything for? So you want you want your film? You want your picture? You little dunk? And I said, okay, okay. It was so. It was such a good moment that I wanted. Like forever, I emailed the school that I dunked on's coach, and I said, "Hey, coach, no, this is weird, but I'm just trying to make it out, just like all your players. Did you happen to record that game? Never got a response. That's so, sick behavior. He has that too. He, he def they it. definitely recorded it. Did you ever cry during a workout? What? Have you ever cried? <laughs> <laughs> You're about to cry now. What do you mean to ever cry during a workout? No. No. <laughs> I was the guy that when like people's careers ended after a year and they're crying, I was just like this until it was mine. I, I teared up. My last last college basketball game ever, I teared up for sure. But what is why is why are you crying? What are you? Why'd you cry during a workout? It was, it was hard. <laughs> This man just said he cried during a collegiate basketball workout because it was hard. What in the hell is wrong with you? Was it college? It wasn't even college. It was it high school? I need a break. Oh, my God. I'm just going to – I don't even – we're going to let him recover. I got That's it. disturbing. How do I look? You look bad. You look crazy. And now it's so much hotter than it already was. Okay. Y'all, he just said he cried from a high school basketball workout. This is what happened. I, I cried laughing at my high school basketball workout. It wasn't from the high school. I had a trainer, and his son was in the NBA. We were just mutual friends. And so he worked me out how he worked out his NBA son. And at the time, we were at this 24-hour fitness, and he saw a like, great potential in me. <laughs> and he thought I could be great. I couldn't be great. Not that great. <laughs> so it was a thing. I had to make... 50 free throws in a row. Ooh. If I missed one, I start back at zero. I was that's shooting tough. free throws for an hour. Oh, I was like a sophomore in high school. And I would get to like – so what happened was – That would drive me crazy. I was Exactly. Not but, tears. But, but it was like – so as soon as you miss one, not only do you have to start again, you got to run back, back and forth. I was tired. At the time, I had goggles on, the rec specs. <laughs> so they were fogging up. Uh, and then – The rec specs. <laughs> 
<laughs> at about oh the, my god, at, I've never met a guard who wore those ever. I never met a guard. Who That's had when I had a face. scrap, though. I'm not. It gonna was lie. only bigs, grimy <laughs> players like yourself. Shout out to Los if you watch. So at the time, <laughs> oh, we were at like minute fifty of me shooting free throws, and he could tell I was getting frustrated and like worked up, and I was like at the point of tears, and I was sweaty. The goggles were fogging up, so I was shooting free throws, and I was like, man, I'm not gonna make it. And he was in my ear, and he was like, you want to be great? You want to do? You can't do that. You can't make free throws. And I was like, you're probably right. Yeah, I can't. I don't want to be great. I just, just want to be above average. <laughs> All I started seeing was water <laughs> fill up my goggles. Oh, my. it was a little fish tank of reservoir. Started, holy hell! Yeah, that's I, I have cried during a workout. That's insane. That was a hard. I didn't think I was gonna be able to laugh harder than I did last time. So that that's was insane. Funny. The way you looked. At me. That's because that's horrible. I wanted to be good, good so bad. Oh, good, good. <laughs> I wanted to be good, good. All right, on to the holy next. Shit. Before you say some more, just just I don't even. What is? Uh, no, no, no. Hold on. Wait, what? what do we, which one are you looking at? Three. Go oh. to it. Did you ever be... This happens every damn episode. I can't talk. Have... Can we talk about last week real quick before we get into number three? Okay. Last week, well, you had me spell some things. You still spelt Pharaoh wrong. Even if you were attempting to spell the other way, the old, multiple other forms, you spelt them all wrong. It, my fans... They said... we defending he was, me. He was going for that one. no. They said that you didn't know how to spell it either. Because if you rewind the film and you look at you explaining it to me, you were like P H A. Because I was trying to say it. Da, 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 you, da. If you know it, you say it off the top of your dome. You make me look like the dumb one. And it's really both of us. I never, I'm, I don't have a horrible time spelling. <laughs> you are horrible at it. So that was the, that, I picked three quiz worthy words. And everyone said, what's the third word? They didn't even get to see it. The third word yeah, was daiquiri. They saw it on here, of course. Yeah, but, but the people that are watching this wouldn't have asked that. Yeah, yeah. That was it's dumb. It's for those TikTok Sorry. casuals. These people that are watching this right now are the real day ones. Okay. But I... Uh, that has 1.5 million views right now. And whenever I was in the, I was in the mall today, I haven't even told you this. I was in the mall today and... A what are you looking at? Pain. <laughs> I was in the mall today and a fan came up. And then I didn't know they were a fan. But when they came up, they said, spell screwdriver. Deadass. Spell screwdriver. I literally would have like went like this. Like I'm a seven-year-old. I would have went like this. this. This is me. This is the fan. Spell screwdriver. I, I would not have said a word and I would have been like ex I, 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 matter of fact I would have went excuse me I would have kept, you're not gonna I love my fans so much so I tried I, I did it S, S hold on S-C-R-E-W space D-R-I-V-E-R okay guys I'm not the smartest I was in school I was in college for four years and I only got the credits of a freshman alright yeah, also I dropped out but look at me now yeah Thank you. Thank you, Liv. Did you have any weird phases growing up? Phases? Yeah, like weird phases, because I got some. Um, there was at one point when I had a, a buzz cut for a long period of time. I was also quite chunky during that time frame. I had another one where I looked like Will Byers from Stranger Things. <laughs> uh, I had another one where I, was, I liked tech decks a lot. Oh, you were out there... Oh, I was never good at it. I just kind of had like 30 of them. And I would all, I literally I would take the little screwdriver take them off, put them back on, no reason. Um, in phases. In high school, I went through a phase where I didn't wear socks for about a whole semester. Uh, I went through a phase where I smiled like this because I had braces. Didn't show my teeth. It's embarrassing. Yeah. Did you hear me? Yeah, you didn't wear <laughs> socks for a semester. Yeah. That needs to be addressed. It was just like a, it was a thing. And then whenever I would hoop, I would just wear low cuts, no shows. Ooh, a phase of fashion, phase of fashion, like you just said. I'm going to take credit for this. I low-key sparked this. Did I invent it? And by any means, no. But I had this wave that I, again, didn't start it, but just hopped on it and wrote it. I would match. I had this wave that I hopped on it and just ran with it. And... 
It's not the same. Anyway, I would match my shirt with my socks and my shorts with my shoes. So hear me out. Here we go. It was when elite socks were were hot, right? Elite socks. Yeah, yeah. I used to tie dye them. Elite socks. You 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 acted like <laughs> I was speaking a different language. I literally felt like I was looking through you. <laughs> All right. So elite socks were lit. They were the you know they were like right when they came out. They only had a couple colors, but then they started every single color. Anybody that knows me, I had every single color. Wore them at basketball, but I could also wear them, you know, at school and stuff. So here, here's the fit, right? Say I had a green American Eagle shirt. Okay. Nasty already. <laughs> cargo shorts, like tan, we'll just say tan cargo shorts. <laughs> tan cargo shorts. Green elite socks. Tan Nikes. Ooh. Switch it. Watch this. Watch the switch up. Blue American Eagle shirt, white cargos, blue elite socks, white vans. And just imagine that. It's you ready? I'm ready. Red shirt, <laughs> black cargos, red elites, black vans. Dude, that's a phase that you went through, not a trend. What was the topic? But you said <laughs> trend. What does that say right there? Phases, Weird but you phase. said trend. Okay, because I started something. You want to wrestle? I didn't start it. I already said I didn't start it. I'm not wrestling you. <laughs> Do you remember that weird phase in middle school when we would wear the double Nike ooh, Elite socks ooh, with the Sperry's? Ooh! No, we, I definitely doubled Nike Elite with Sperry's, but you just said wrestling in middle school. We in junior high, <laughs> what is we happening? literally had a cult competition split into two teams amongst the locker room, and we had the, the uh, CSC, maybe? Oh, no, BCS! The Brotherhood of Calf Slapping. We had a school-wide competition. Anyone in our football locker room, we were split into two gangs. If you walked up on anyone, you could literally... Ow! Right there. That is what we did. That was so hard. Yeah. Slap their calves s s hard, and it would hurt. I don't know why we did it. We all did it. It was weird, but... I didn't like how you didn't react to that. Because they're... Th I mean, they're used to it. <laughs> they're used to it. It's I'm tailored for a calf slap now. We uh, there was a point with the double socking, like so. What you would try to, if you don't know, Nike Elite socks had this like stripe on the back of the socks, like right here on the Achilles tendon area. And if you wore double ones, you tried to line it up. Yeah. So whoever had the nicest Elite socks with the nicest lineup, they were the cool kid. They got drilled. That was me. There was a one time I triple socked. I was triple socking with the low Sperry's. We had a friend Nasty. who triple socked, made fun of him immediately. Well, I got made fun of. Triples way too many. At the time, I had hair down in my lower back region. A triple elite sock. Oh, you did look like Troy Polamalu. Yeah. But a triple elite sock would take your shoe size from like an 8 <laughs> to like an 11 and a half. It was nasty behavior. There's an unbelievable amount of cushion and just swampness growing in there. Did Sorry. you ever um, sock people in middle school? Like with the with the big socks, we've been talking about socks yeah. for so long. I'm sorry. Yeah, we d I mean we did tripped people, but that was about it. I didn't sock anybody. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Fan Q and A. You wanna do that? Mm hmm So guys, if you follow me on Instagram at psha, at random times, go on my story. I'm like, hey, we're about to record a podcast. Go ahead and DM me some questions or send me a video if you want to put your face on the screen. A lot of y'all don't want to put your face on the screen. I thought that would be something that y'all would like to do. I want to see y'all. I want to look at y'all. I mean, while you think about me it, questions. like it'd be cool. But wait, is it like a video submission? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's better. I thought it was literally gonna be like, no, 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 no. Video submission. Like they're just sitting there. Yeah. So if and you we're reading their question. If you follow me on Instagram at the or ooh, it's just at psh eight at psh eight on Instagram. I'll go random times on my story, ask y'all to ask me questions, so you can be a part of the podcast. And so I have a few. I haven't checked any of these yet, so we're just gonna go off the top of the dizome. We have one from the goat, the legend himself, Apollo. Apollo if you don't know who goated. Apollo is, he is like. OG day one super fan shout out to Apollo. Love that dude. He's like a, he's like family at this point. He supports everything. Um, he asked a question. His uh, at name is Apollo underscore four. Would you rather be completely broke and happy or rich AF but unhappy? I'll answer this first. I'll go first. I'm broke and unhappy right now. So why not just be a billionaire and feel the same way? I mean. I used to answer that so quick and be like, broken, unhappy. Er, uh, broken, happy. That's God. That's, that's me. It's worse. <laughs> I'm, I want to be Peyton. Broke and happy. But the more you think about it, I mean, I guess it just depends. Like, if I can, if I'm br broke as in, like, 
I can cover my bills for the month, mm-hmm. but like I can't do fun stuff. I might not even have a car or whatever, but I'm eating. I'm sleeping with the roof and I have water and I can bathe. Then I would take that in happiness. But if it's like bro- like broke, broke, like I don't have anything, like not a home, mm-hmm. can't, don't know if I'm going to eat that night, give me a billion dollars and I'll be unhappy. Yeah. Um, regardless of how much money I have when I'm broke, I'm going to take the rich and unhappy one because I'm, you know. <laughs> um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Skeleton like you wouldn't last too long. <laughs> one of my biggest fears as a kid was going to jail. I, I always thought the police were coming to. I, my fear was I was. Why did that get, even cross your mind? I was kid? afraid that I was going to get framed for a murder. All the, I still fear that sometimes. Like, what if I was at the shopping center at the what same does that time, mean? getting framed for a murder, and then like they? No, I know what that is. I'm saying, why do you? Th- why were you thinking that as a child? I feel like people watching this right now are gonna be like, I have that same fear. No, I have it now as an adult. People have that fear right now of like, I'm scared of getting framed. Because what are you gonna do? What enemies do you have? Like, who, how are you? What do you? No, but just say I was at the wrong place at the wrong time. And you, I'm one of those, I feel like I have the luck to I'd be one of those people that get like... If it's a complete and utter act, like, like there's no coincidence, you're never going to get like, you might be, you might spend a couple nights, like it's good. No, I feel like I would be one of those people that like go to prison for 25 years and then they find out, oh, they were innocent. And I'd be like, told y'all. That dude, I feel bad for all those people. That but. sucks. That's like my biggest fear. Like I don't, I don't know why. Like nothing's happened to me. I just yeah. I'm like, what? Like who do you think you like? I don't know. But anything can happen. You don't know. Wrong place, wrong time. I walk alone a lot, and that is suspicious. I do walk everywhere alone. You yeah yeah. So the Coco <laughs> Baps, the Coco Baps on Instagram asks, long distance dating. Your opinion on it? Don't even get me started. <laughs> I mean. You had a successful long distance. Ours wasn't long at all. What is, what classifies as long distance? I'd say state lines or hours of hours exceeding three to four. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well. Hours hours exceeding three in length away from each other, driving that is, or across state lines. Uh, this is a thing. Okay, do you think? But if you both live on the border, like that's not okay. Say somebody is in a long distance relationship. Do you what? Do, what is? Do you think the success? It's rate? very hard. It's very do hard. Do you think you like, would be able to do it? Okay, take aside that your situation now. Okay, this is what I always said with Liv. Me being me, I know who I am. I one hundred percent could do it. I'm a man of like. I'm not. This isn't me. Like telling y'all who I am, whatever, like, whatever, tooting my own horn, but, like, I I will never cheat, I would never cheat, I could never cheat, it's not in my DNA, I refuse to do it, it's, uh, I just, it's unacceptable, I don't, like, it's not a thing, to yeah. me. it would never happen, ever a day in my life, I know I'd be good in a long distance relationship, now, not having been, like, in one, I don't know how I would react if the other person started showing signs of sketchiness, mm-hmm. But I'm saying me and my half, my 50%, yeah. we'd be good. I would be, especially when I was in college, what did I do? Woke up, ate, went to class, ate, went to practice, ate, in the room. On the game. <laughs> Played the game, watched Netflix. Same with me, though. Hung out with y'all. That's what I'm saying. That's my take on it. I know I'd be good. Have no clue what the other person, but for other random people, like if you know that... I don't even know how to put it into words. It's it's old. It's unbelievably hard. Let me jump in here real quick. I feel like I I'm the same with you. I know I'd be good, right? If I if I'm getting because I'm you know me I'm not getting in a relationship. Like I cause I just can't. Like it takes a lot of trust to get in a relationship. So if I were to be in a relationship, rightfully so for you. If I were to be in a relationship, right, and it was long distance, I do not think I would be fine with my like I know I'll be good, yeah. but I don't think my anxiety and my like would overthinking, to, yeah. oh my god, be like oh no they you know what I'm saying yeah. like I I, I absolutely could. <laughs> I think it's so to answer your question the Coco Bap I think um, very hard very hard for me no I couldn't do it one out of ten success koala rate, bears ten, don't make it home to Christmas ten relationships happening over long distance I'm like I'm literally gonna say like two survive uh, let's see let's do one more. It also depends on the time. If it's like a month or two, you're good. If it's like a genuine, like, hey, we, we're going to be apart for a year, see each other maybe four or five times throughout that year. 
Um, ooh, uh, there's a question about the WWE, and I wanted to answer it just because I know Mark Henry, and I want to flex that, but okay. I'm not going to answer that. Uh, okay. They already know. So I, I know Mark Henry. He's just a friend of the show. And that's it. the question was, did you ever get into WWE? If so, who's your favorite wrestler? 100%. Uh, Batista, until they had him turn bad. He and then you? huge yeah. John Cena fan. John Cena. My favorite was always Randy Orton. He's the reason I have tattoos Dude, now. Dude, Randy Orton was lit. Yeah. He was I love that. And guy. then he started kicking people in the skull, and I was like, "Whoa, bro!" I used to, I used to like, I didn't, I knew it wasn't real, but like it would. Still, I was so invested into the storyline. Like, did you ever think like, how do you fake kick someone in the head? Camera angles, and then they click. I know, but like, you they, we could do it right now. Uh, I wouldn't trust you putting yeah, your hoop you by my skull. But then it's like, but you think of other stuff like when they fall off of a ten foot ladder. That's real. Onto another ladder. I know there's. It's probably saw. Like yeah, that, it's, it's give. Good, it has give, but it's like you're you're falling ten feet. I don't care those if that's a, like a blowback surface or not. Like that's they put their bodies through a lot. Yeah, no, I, those rings are not soft. I, I hit one. It's because it's made out of wood. It's wood, and then there's like just mats. It's, it's like just mats, it's mats, mats, and like springs under it, which gives yeah, it the bounce. But but it's it's hard as hell. Like I was like hell no. But um, so yeah, that's WWE. Um, one more. So if you, want to, if you want to be on the next episode for a fan Q&A, go on my Instagram right now, PSH8, drop a question. So Gates Preston asks, what is the weirdest shopping experience you've ever had? Trying to find a belt with him. I knew you were going to say that. I knew. Yeah, we spent like, we talked about this on the other episode. It was 116 degrees. It felt like we were in literal hell. There was no air conditioning. We went to multiple different stores for one article of clothing that was a belt we probably went through 200 different selections of belts. He did not choose one, and that lasted for four months. <laughs> and that belt that I ended up getting, so that was like, what, four years ago? Yeah. That was like four years ago, whenever I got that belt. How's it going, Liv? <laughs> Liv is listening to reggaeton back there. Yeah, what on earth? Um, I That belt just broke like last month. I've been wearing wow. it the whole time. That was my only belt. But yeah, that's the weirdest shopping Four years, experience. though, that's good. Um, That's a good return on investment. Yeah, no, no. Four it was, years of wearing it? it. I shouldn't have been wearing it though. It was a, one of those ones like it was, it was like you had to take a drill and like make your own. Little it was hole barely like, breathing. Yeah, that's bad. The buckle was flipping. <laughs> it was, it was, it was bad. It we, wasn't reversible, but it turned reversible. Yeah, one of those deals. Yeah, yeah. We're going to DreamCon coming up. We have one more thing before you go. We have one more thing, but I want to bring up DreamCon real quick. We're going to be at DreamCon. It's going to be a fun experience. If you're there, come say hi to us. Um, DreamCon is going to be different. I don't think you've met any fans yet, like of the past. So I'm excited for you to get that interaction. It's going to be really dope. Co-host Cam will be there live in the live in the flesh. I'm so excited to meet you guys, and I've been getting all your DMs. And even if I haven't had the chance to respond to them, everybody's saying they're excited to see us at DreamCon. I am way more excited to see y'all. And uh, the RDC World AMP Gideon and I am Dante. They're doing a hundred thousand dollar. A dodgeball game with House of Highlights, and I haven't ever seen a hundred dollars in my life. Or okay, I've seen. I've never seen a hundred dollars. What are you six? I don't have a hundred dollars to my name now, and they're playing for a hundred thousand. So it's gonna hurt a little bit watching that, but they're my friends, and I want them to win. You got something to wrap this up? Yeah. Ooh, ooh! Give us a good intro to it. So. Told you I was surprised and you had my own little, you know, topic. Oh, God. Threw a curveball. He's not even, you don't even understand. He's not ready. Literally no idea. Told him I had my own topic. So he's like, oh, yeah, bet, you know, whatever. The topic is him trying another food today, right now. I can't. You are, and you will. Please make it good. So we were talking the other day, like uh, weeks ago, whatever, just talking on the phone, whatnot. Me, him, Liv, and... um. He's never tried, when he was younger, like at his grandma's house, nothing, he's never had any sort of Spam, Vienna, uh, 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 Vienna sausage, anything like that. What do I do? Bring a can of Vienna sausages, you're trying it right here. A can of Vienna, you're trying to tell me there's meat that comes in a can? Yeah. That for, I'm supposed to eat? For about 48 cents. And you're going to like it. There's no way that you can legally sell meat in a can for 40. <gasps> this is, this is puppy chow. <laughs> okay. It's Hold on.
Cam, th- there's no way I can eat that. There's so right. there was an there's two right, liters right, of no, liquid no, no, that no, just came back, out yeah. of that. That was that's I actually don't ever remember them being that much liquid. But I can't. So this eat is that. the can. Get a little whiff first. Like a, like a scent. Okay, oh, <laughs> no. come on, dog. No, you have to. You have to. I promise. It's Do- All right, ready. We have. Oh. <laughs> What is that? <laughs> Did I cut my thumb? No. Okay. Cam, Do, will it make you feel better if I eat it with you? I'll just Actually, it. no. Yeah. So don't put your digits I in the mic. I was going. Can I was me? going to, but then I didn't. Grab the middle one. Don't focus Give too much the on can. the look. And I already know when you take it out, you're gonna laugh. <laughs> grab the middle one. The, grab. There's a. There's grab a, the middle one. <laughs> Do you see this? Yeah, it's like a revol- it's a revolver of meat. <laughs> All right, grab the middle one. Can dog. Just go- it's like a band aid. Just pull it. How off. How do we go from guacamole to this? Just pull it off. Why does it feel like that? <laughs> it's breaking. It's my- <laughs> He's shaking. Oh my god! Just grab. What are you doing? You're like smushing it. Grab one of the edge ones now, and just kind of when you get a good. Oh, oh no, Cam! I can't, 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 I can not i can not just give it a bite. I'm going to throw up. Do you bring the trash can? Just get... If you get to that point, I will sprint and get the I trash can. I feel like gagging now. Because you're psyching yourself out. Because I can... There's such an odor that comes with this. Go. Look at it. Go. Why is it... Ho- Just bite half. <laughs> Live said you can smell it from over there. Just bite half. Go. Can Ready? Can, Same countdown as guacamole. I got water. I need a drink. You got monster. There's nothing in here. I got give me water. My water. Give me my water. Kip just broke the yeah, broken couch. You uh, <laughs> got water. You got water and Can't. a broken couch now. It's in my thumb. Just bite half of it. Dog, I might throw up. It's not. I swear to God, I'm gagging right now. You're not going to throw up. <laughs> His eyes are watering. Go. Ready? Same countdown as, as guacamole. Just do it. You have water. Before. But this is the thing. This is so gross, Be bro. Be honest. Be honest with it. If you hate it, you hate it. That's fine. You eat this. But don't. I did as a kid. I haven't ate it in ye- probably a decade. But it's 47 cent canned meat. Yeah, it is with ju- juice, a lot of juice. So much juice. They're, they're little, they're little wieners. <laughs> All right, ready? Just give it a chance when you get in there. Ready? What did you just say? <laughs> That's sick. It does. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Half of it. Stop. See, you're already being extra. It is not that bad. Can't get it out of my mouth. It's not that <laughs> bad. Crazy. It's not that bad. Just chew. It's I literally. Okay, give, give me a trash can. I swear, God, give me a trash can. I'm not playing <laughs> with you. I'm not playing with you. I, Cam, give me a fucking <laughs> trash can. Huh? Just chew. Cam, give me a trash can. <laughs> <laughs> chew. Cam. Just chew. What is this, dog? What is this? Oh, yeah. That smells like that in the trash can. That, that's that's the juices, but give this away from me. <laughs> throw it in the trash. I don't want it. You got it. You got that. It. It's still in my mouth. It's, it's, well, <laughs> what are you re? You didn't lose sight. <laughs> It didn't put you in paralysis. You didn't lose your sensory motor skills. It I just tasted breathe. that. I can't breathe. All right. He was reaching for something like. All right. All right. That's that. Great episode. Dog. Next, uh, We're never next doing that again. installment on <laughs> Uncle P tries this food. <laughs> oh. Um, I'll let him recover. We're gonna. We are going to. Uh, Talk about this very exclusive merch drop again. Remember, as uh, he said in the intro, it's on my thigh. It's it, it's on my shorts. As he said in the intro, the current studio shirts, you should know shirts with the back that says studio, 
uh, they will not be reinstated. It was a, a one-click kid, a one-time job. And if you don't get it now, you'll never get it ever again. So that's crazy. <laughs> His elbow popped. Uh, so, yeah, those will never be back out ever again. But the next drop is Super Elite, multiple different uh, styles to choose from. The OG fans, day one fans, will really Ooh, appreciate it. really appreciate it. And it's um, it's going to be great. Well, shit. But that order doesn't get processed until this shipment is fully gone. And we are very close to being fully gone. Be the last person to grab a hoodie. We have one hoodie left. You get a little special extra note in there. Last hoodie. Um, go to youshinostudios.com right now. Guys, thank you so much for watching episode 15, season 2 of the You Should Know podcast. I love you so much. Remember, 1 out of 10 koala bears don't make it home to Christmas, and Cam's got a secret code. Secret code is... Vienna Sausage. VS. VS, baby. VVS. Very Vienna Sausage, but people could also think they're talking about the diamonds. Ooh. VVS. Ooh. Very I'm, Vienna Sausage. I'm going to go throw up. Remember, guys, 1 out of 10 koala bears don't make it home to Christmas. I love you so much. Hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. That was elite.